remote control, we can turn the machine on and off with the remote control and we can also turn the pressure on and off with the remote control. The remote control then kind of works like a ball valve on the main reel. So if you want to jet with the main reel, you can use the remote as your ball valve. So you don't have to be standing next to the machine. On previous remotes, this could only really be done by turning the engine off on full revs and then there would have to be a delay before you could restart the engine. With this setup, we can turn the pressure on and off the machine and when we turn the pressure off, the, uh, the clutch, the pump will sense that and it will go back to idle and the pump will stop spinning. So the range on this remote is say I'd say over 60 metres, which you've got 60 metres of hose on your main reel. Um, so I'll just show you how it works. If I turn the machine on and I have the remote on, there's a switch there on the remote box if you don't want to use the remote. But we do want to use the remote, so I'll turn that on. So what we do is we want to activate the remote first. So to activate the remote, you hold the on button hold the on button you'll see you have a green light there on your transmitter and then we hit set and now we turn the engine on. So engine's running, pump's not even spinning. It's on full throttle but it doesn't matter because the, uh, the whole remote system knows that there's no pressure being asked for so it's just going to idle away. If we were going to use the main reel in a drain with a nozzle on it, so if we were going to do that, we'd slide, we'd slide this hose protection thing off. We won't be using that for now. Nozzle straight on into the drain. Then what we do on the remote is before we want to do any functions, we have to hit set. That's so you, act, you accidentally can't hit any buttons. So you hit set, and then we go pressure on. So the remote becomes your ball valve. So you can also turn the engine off. When you turn the engine off, it's like an emergency stop. If you want to reuse the engine, start the engine again, you need to reactivate the remote. So by hitting the on button, till we get the green light, then you hit your set button, and then engine start. Engine's running again. We want pressure, we go set, and we go pressure on. Pressure on. So as you can see what's happening, when it goes back to idle, pump stops spinning, engine goes back to idle. If we want pressure, we go set, pressure on. This is also going to be a handy feature if you want to do your disconnect off your mini reel for when you finish jetting and that's your final pack up. So you've been jetting. disconnect. I can carry this back to the truck. I didn't have to walk backwards and forwards one more time to do that. The other function is if you're jetting off your mini reel and you're not getting through the blockage and you want some more power, you can pressure off and then you can connect straight onto your main reel and jet with a little bit more flow. So this is the, the little remote. You've got a spot for a lanyard there on the bottom. So you got a belt clip on the back. So, this engine and this setup, we can use it in a couple of different machines. Uh, keg jet being one of them, ramjet another, and both trailers that we make. So uh, you'll see more and more of these in the marketplace now, and we're very happy and proud to present this machine for you guys to use.